Hey, it's Alex from Android Central here today taking a look at Android 4.3 on the Nexus 4. So we've already seen Android 4.3 unannounced, unreleased version of Android leak out for the Google Play Edition Galaxy S4. Um, so we've got the same version number, same build number here, now built for the Nexus 4. So same OS, different device. And as you can see, it's much the same experience we've come to know and love in 4.2. As we saw with the earlier leak, 4.3 isn't quite as big an update in terms of user-facing stuff, but there's still some new things to take a look at, and that's what we're going to do here today. But before we do that, let's talk touch sensitivity. This is something which some users have pointed out is kind of lower on the Nexus 4 than it is on a lot of other devices. And on 4.2, it was possible to touch the screen and not get a response back when really you would expect to. That's something that's changed kind of dramatically in 4.3. And since installing this on our Nexus 4, we've noticed a big improvement in touch responsiveness, which is interesting to see. So it'll be a big deal for Nexus 4 owners uh, that have noticed this problem if the 4.3 update does indeed fix it. Anyway, let's move on to actual Android 4.3 features. And there are a couple that are new here that are difficult to show, but still pretty important to the OS. And we can see them here in the Android System Info app. We've got OpenGL ES 3.0, new standard for 3D graphics on mobile devices. And we've also got Bluetooth LE support. And we can see a reference to Android uh, Bluetooth underscore LE down there in the features list. So for support for new Bluetooth devices, um, a lower power level, including wearable devices, which you all know is gonna be big for Google. Next up in the dialer, we've got some fairly minor changes. You've got the ability to add pauses or waits in dialing strings when you're dialing a number, which might be useful depending on where you live. In the advanced menu in the dialer, there's also an autocomplete option for the dial pad. So uh, nice to see that in there. That pops up dialing suggestions based on numbers that you enter and numbers in your contacts list. So next up is another well-hidden feature. This is found in the uh, Wi-Fi advanced settings menu and it's called scanning always available. It's turned off by default, but if you turn it on, what it'll do is let apps use Wi-Fi based location services even when you've turned Wi-Fi off. So if you're in an area where you don't want to use Wi-Fi for data, but you still want to let apps use Google's location services based on Wi-Fi, then you can do that with this new setting. Of course, you also get the new Android 4.3 camera app. We've seen this before on the Google Edition devices. Um, new arch based menu that uh, makes it easier to scroll through various layers of menus without your thumb getting in the way. 4.3 also brings a bunch of new options for developers, and we're going to touch on just one or two here, but there really is a lot of new stuff designed to make optimizing and debugging apps an awful lot easier. So we're going to take a look at the new options for profiling GPU rendering, and what this does is it makes it easier to see when the system is running at a smooth 60 frames per second. You get this little bar chart down below and a green line running across the middle, and it does this for each surface, so you can see for each thing on screen that the GPU is rendering, whether it's hitting that crucial 60 frames per second mark. And you can see parts of the bars are actually color coded to tell developers which particular tasks are taking the most time when you're rendering a frame. So it's kind of technical, but the idea is to make it easier for developers to make smoother, faster apps. Finally, onto something that's kind of hidden in this build. This is a notifications history pane, and you can get to it by creating a settings shortcut. So it shows a history of all your notifications. You can tap on one of them to see the app that created it. One of the ideas going around, this is possibly part of a notification listener system. Android police did some digging around in the earlier build and found references to apps possibly being able to bring in information from the notification center. So obviously this would be pretty big for wearable devices. And given that Android's getting ready for wearables with new features like Bluetooth LE, then we wouldn't be surprised to see new notification features like this in a final 4.3 build. So there you go, that's a very quick look at Android 4.3 leaked build running on the Nexus 4. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the site for even more Android 4.3 news.